I mean, it definitely has not been an easy ride, especially I've been here all for, I guess, five years total. And Coach G and I, we, we, we were working, man. Like, we didn't have it easy. We didn't have any handouts, but all we knew was to work hard and stay together. And we just knew that we just had to stick together as a team and make, make sure that no matter what, we knew that we had an end goal and to take this team to new heights. And I think what we saw today on the court was everything come to fruition. We worked hard. We knew exactly what we needed to do to get the job done. And like you said, we were down 12, but that just shows the fight that this team has. We never gave up. We never quit. And we knew that we just needed to rely on each other, have each other's backs, and get the dub. And we got the job done today. So I'm super proud of us today. Here, up, up here, up, up here. Say, Jay, say, Jay. You know, go here. Switch. My name is Susanna Rafi. I'm a freshman from Ipswich in England. We're all very passionate about the game, which is why we're here, which is why we do what we do. But it's about not letting that passion like overflow and like affect the game. So like we have passion and like it's channeling it in the right way. So like channeling it so we're focused on the mission, we go and achieve what we want to achieve while showing that passion. Because I feel like if you play with passion, you're playing for what you love, you're playing hard automatically as well as playing for each other, like on court, off the court, the staff, and just playing for the program. So as long as you like channel that passion into the mission, like you're locked in, you're focused, and we'll get what we want. Okay. All right. Passion driven, mission focused. This group, this is what I'm most proud about with the senior class. So the best way to honor your last home game is to go out there and leave your passion. That's what I really believe in right now. Okay, so don't get wrapped up in the day. Have your moment. Go have it. I'm gonna have it with you. We maybe we'll all get emotional. Who the knows? Well, as soon as that's over, let's snap back into it. Passion driven, mission focused, and lead the way you have in the last two to five years. Patrick puts up the three, and nothing but net. Patrick out into the open court, leaves it for Durr, and Sienna Durr on the opposite end of another pass from a senior, and somehow gets it to Lauder, and she'll bank it in, dribbling in circles to the cutting Patrick, and that is gonna do it. The Lion is not sleeping tonight. Columbia taking its rightful place atop the throne. The Lions are Ivy League champions for the first time in program history. she's done for this our university our athletic department you know for this allowing to be renamed everybody for Lisa thank you so much um, you know and, and too like I would just say like it, it's not possible like, I'm not here if Peter doesn't hire me right and, and for the people that believed in me in the room you know um, that goes from all the alums in our community um, yeah absolutely and, and and all of you great people and the people that were here today um, and our young women who are amazing you know I, I, I cannot coach a better group of people and my staff is phenomenal um, so please like just keep following our journey and keep staying invested and I promise you there's greater things to come for this program but it's not possible with all of you so thank you again for being here um, Erickson my guy <laughs> <laughs> but sorry we were kind of RTI we were at, at here at the same time but anyways we, uh, <laughs> Yeah, yeah. So, anyways, I just, again, I'm extremely overcome with, like, a lot of gratitude right now, so I apologize for not being the most eloquent. Uh, but, again, uh, and thank you for everything, Peter. Yeah, yeah. Go Lions!
Well, with any mission, there's, there's going to be adversity and you can't always plan for the adversity, right? You can think about it, you can talk about it. And I think the most important thing for this group was to acknowledge when adversity would be coming, right? And it wouldn't necessarily be like, hey, in this game at this moment, you're gonna hit adversity, but it was more about, all right, we got a sold out crowd tomorrow night. Um, you know, we got a lot of families, a senior night, things like that. Uh, we're down in Miami, we're on the road. Um, you know, we're playing at somebody else's gym in an ACC gym things like that. Um, I think just having really open, honest conversations, not trying to avoid the fact that this is what it is, um, has allowed this team to like really stay focused on the mission. And, and that's been a big part of our success is not looking too far ahead and taking every day um, as a growth opportunity uh, and taking every game as a growth opportunity, honestly. Right now, the mission is to win a championship. You know, we got the regular season chip, but we want to win the Ivy tournament so we can go to the NCAA tournament. That's the mission, plain and simple. Here you go. Hit this. I got you one more. We got six. Here you go, six. Seven. Ah, get in there. Nine. Got you. Ten. We don't play here. We don't play here. Come on. Quarter to win. Uh, this past year, we've had our ups and downs as well, but we've shown that we can compete with the best of the best. And, you know, this team, not only have we shown it on the court, but off the court, the way we carry ourselves, the way that we come together as a family on and off the court, I think that is really what's going to make this team a championship team. So. Who is feeling very fearless right now? Hannah, Jada, Luna, yes. Nikki, mm -hmm. you're going to read it with all of the passion that you have for this program. Right? We do what we do because we love each other. Right? And not a lot of people can say that. You ready? Yep. Oh! Everybody die. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs>
with the shot clock off, Harvard had a chance for a final shot, but Columbia wouldn't allow it. Well, you can tell they wanted to go at Pratt off the bounce, but this is just tremendous team defense led by who? Caitlin Davis getting her hand in there to get that deflection. You can add to it here tonight with overtime against Harvard. Anderson to Davis. That one is knocked down. Caitlin Davis, a new career high. 26 for the senior. Columbia inbounds. Ticks. Clock starts. Harvard dribbles away, and they will dribble into the championship tomorrow night. Forbes with one final bucket to finish it, and the Crimson will play Princeton for a trip to the NCAA tournament tomorrow. Yeah, um, number one, um, you know, I thought Harvard played a great game, and you know, this is Mark. Right. But, you know, I have every with every fiber in my being, I believe we're an NCAA tournament team still. And, you know, we've beaten Harvard twice already this season. That's a top 100 net team. We're 23 and five. We are 23 and five. We have 13 road wins, the most in the country. We have top 100 non-conference strength of schedule. We want six and one on the road versus net top 100 teams. We want six and one on the road versus net top 100 teams. And this one game cannot define our season. I expect us to be playing in the tournament. Questions for Coach? Including a national championship two years ago, led by that young woman, Haley Jones. Cameron Brink having an outstanding year on both ends of the floor as well. They have many shooters. Because we did this to ourselves. We have to realize that, right? Okay, so it's like it is what it is at this point. But losing that game, not getting the championship, like that, that's pretty much what set the table for us. So, you know, what's already been a very good and historic season doesn't end right now. And you can go win the W19. Marks, I can tell you that I'm going to give you everything I have. And I know that you will do the same, but you're going to have to make that choice. And we need every single person to make this run. So we can extend this as long as we want. I don't give a shit about last season. I really don't. And I don't care about what happened on Friday anymore. You have to acknowledge it and move forward. That's what's important right now. But I'm going to win a championship. So if you're with me, you got to be with me and fully with me. Where are people at? I need to know.